how are you all doing? You all looking really well. It's really good to see a good spoken word scene over here. There's an equally good scene in Dublin at the moment. And if you're ever in Dublin, look me up on Facebook and we have nights. The first poem I'm going to uh, read to you is about the economy in Ireland. And it's a lament. Ten years ago in Ireland, we had the Celtic Tiger and we had loads of money. We drove BMWs and all of that. And now the country's a little bit fucked. And this poem is called, Where Is All The Cocaine Gone? <laughs> Long gone the halcyon days of the building boom bender and the South American cartel and the money we would send her. From the politicians to the doctors to the overpaid bankers. From council houses to the Fox Rock wankers. Ireland was a blizzard of Peruvian snow and with each eight-fold boat the ego it did grow. Rich we were back then and now we are broke. Only the select few now can afford a numbers full of coke. Thank you. <laughs> I live in a little tiny house in a little tiny street and both my neighbours have dogs and I would love a dog. I fucking love a dog. I'd have a dog before a girlfriend maybe. I don't know. Anyway, no, that's probably not true. But I wrote this poem about my neighbour's dog. It's a little Springer Spaniel. It's the nicest dog in the world. And it's called this is a dog's life. <laughs> life wouldn't be a slog if I could only be a dog. Let's forget this austerity farce. All I want to do is smell dog's arse. <laughs> Ru Ruck. I'm, oh shit, fuck it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey. This is a poem, I take a lot of train journeys in what I do, I, I move around the country a lot and in most fields in Ireland you will have fields of cows or fields of sheep, fields of cows or fields of sheep and in one day the train stopped in, in, outside a field and there was one cow and one sheep and I was wondering, what the fuck, are these guys friends or what's going on? So I wrote this poem, it's called The Cow and the Sheep. <laughs> After many years of sharing the same field and interspecies love began to yield from running in the grass and enjoying a joke to scratching their hides and learning to smoke. A proper relationship with passionate feelings befriended. What happened in the bushes was not what God intended. <laughs> their best friends knew the chicken and the horse. Of this forbidden union they said nothing of course. Then the pig found out and raised the alarm and squealed to the man who was running the farm. Cow and sheep were butchered to alleviate the shame. Chicken and horse knew the pig was to blame. <laughs> then late one night when the animals were in bed, they put on balaclavas and sneaked into the shed and took turns firing bullets into his fucking head. <laughs> Is it okay to read a poem that I didn't write? Yeah. There's, a there's a famous poet in England called John Cooper Clark and he goes around festivals in Ireland and England and like he charges 30 euro, 40 euro in, he's extremely famous. I've met him a few times and then I was at a wedding and my friend asked me would I read this poem at the wedding and it's a love poem. So are we okay for love poems? Yeah. I want to be yours. Let me be your vacuum cleaner breathing in your dust. Let me be your Ford Cortina, I will never rust. If you like your coffee hot, let me be your coffee pot. You call the shots, I want to be yours. Let me be your raincoat for those frequent rainy days. Let me be your dreamboat when you want to sail away. Let me be your teddy bear, take me with you anywhere. I don't care, I want to be yours. Let me be your electric mirror, I will not run out. Let me be the electric heater you get cold without. Let me be your setting lotion. Hold your hair with deep devotion. Deep as the deep Atlantic Ocean. That's how deep is my emotion. Deep, 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 deep. I don't want to be yours, I want to be yours. Thank you.